Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we finally touched down in the last area of the game, the Wistful Wild. We were able to carry back the heaviest treasure in the game using all 100 purple Pikmin. And today we're actually going to begin to tackle one of the three caverns in this area. Hopefully you're all having a good time. You're doing well. I am not doing well. If you can not hear it in my voice, but that's okay. The show must go on. I will be fine. So we're gonna get some more work done today. I think that I'm gonna try to get one of the other treasures from, um, it depends upon if the bridge is built or not. I don't know. I wanna get a treasure today and then hopefully we can do the first half of a cave if that's possible. I am 100% winging this. I don't honestly know what I'm doing, so. Prepare for that. What could possibly go wrong, viewers? Every time I say that, I always think of um, the game Bubsy for Super Nintendo. I don't know if anybody's played that one. It's a bit of a, a bit of a deep cut. It's kind of an older game, but Bubsy frequently says that during the game. What could possibly go wrong? That's what I always think of whenever I say it. All right, looks like their bridge is built, which is nice. We killed the Gatling Groink, which is nice. Ooh, looks like we have some um, some larger bull, bull borbs that we need to take care of. But first, let's go ahead and get through the blue Pikmin out of the way. We'll have our white Pikmin come here and tear this down. It's really annoying that it doesn't treat the um, it doesn't treat the poison vents as vents. It treats them as like part of the wall. So I can't really do anything about that. But while they're doing that, I'm actually gonna go grab some purples because dispatching those larger sleepy bull, 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 bull blacks things is kind of tough. So we'll have the ship fart out some purple Pikmin for us and then we'll be able to more easily do it. You guys got stuck all the way over here. I thought I was missing a bunch of you. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Where did half my squad? Whoa, camera, take it easy. It's one of the downsides of having unflowered Pikmin is they sometimes just get kind of lost. I'm imagining that the white Pikmin will probably need a hot minute to get that down so we can actually see if these are full of nectar. They are. Not that it matters because I don't know what the dungeon entails that I'm actually going to need from it today, so. We'll see. That's 12 yellows though. That was the majority of the uh, of the yellows that I took, or at least at least half. I guess the majority would be anything over half. But as you can see, we have the um, the sleepy uh, sleep sleep. I can't even talk. The sleepy bull bull black bull blorbs. Bull blorbs. There's another cave back here this way too. There's a. There's an item back here. Hold on, there's the, um, what are they? I guess we can do some more work while we're waiting. Might be able to get two treasures in this time. I kind of want to get rid of the uh, puffy blowhog here. We have the creeping chrysanthemums. That's what these are called. Not a huge fan of them. Not a huge fan of the puffy blowhog. Get in my way, but there's three of them, which is kind of annoying, but they're not really a huge threat. Whoop, there we go, come back. Once they fall over, they are kind of doomed. So, yeah, they're real dumb. They actually stun themselves, which I think is really funny. And they're pretty easy to kill, too. One of them has a treasure, I think. Not that one. There are three. Which one is it, viewers? Is it one, two, or three? Take your guess, because your award is nothing. All right. So we'll do the same thing and kind of rinse and repeat here. It's kind of weird that they hit themselves like that, but I'm not complaining. All right, is it number two? It is not. I don't know if this is RNG dependent, if it's always going to wind up being the last one. All right, I've had enough of you. I guess I could have used the radar, which I didn't because I'm stupid, but you know, it's fine. I'd like to aggro the uh, puffy blowhog over here. I don't want to have to fight two of these turds at the same time. very obnoxious, probably one of my least favorite enemies, which is weird because, you know, consequentially, they're not really that bad. They don't really do a lot. So, oops, 
Oops, almost forgot. All right. And number three. This should give us the whatever the prize is. I have no idea. No, is it? Wait, what? Is it buried? Oh, it's probably, you know what game? I've had enough of you. You and your buried treasure. Although, if I had to guess, I would assume that this cave that I am intending to do today, which is actually the one at the very beginning. I don't know why I'm going this way. I thought there was gonna be a treasure in here. But whatever, well, we have purples. We're gonna just kill these guys. And, a boop, boop, boop. and I'm gonna kill you with my stun powers. Oh no. Get him. All right, well that didn't really go swimmingly. Is there a treasure in one of these guys then? There's gotta be something somewhere. All right, well, we'll try that again, regroup. I'm not really approaching this in any like meaningful, strat strategic way and whatever, that's just how I do it. All right, now we can get the stun going on. And that was handled. There we go, is that a treasure? Well, I don't want you guys to carry that. That would take 900 years. So instead we will use our white Pikmin. How many did I need for this one? Is it 10? And a one more. Oh, they're so light that they can't get away from it. Oh, you know what? That's a jerk thing. All right, Puffy Blowhog. So Puffy Blowhogs can uh, temporarily stun your white Pikmin. I didn't know that. And I also didn't know how to throw onto it. Apparently I'm missing. There we go. Get him. And just get him. That's not fun. Come here. Switch to purples. Yeah, this is going really well. If really well means uh, really poorly. So, all right, whatever. That's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is crapping out <laughs> pellets? What is happening right now? Okay. Um, yeah, the uh, actual cave that I wanted to do was the one that's in the beginning. So I don't really need. Well, I guess there's the hidden treasure that I could grab. I don't know. I have whites left, so maybe I should just try it. The frame rate of this episode is taking a giant dump on itself, so that's fun. It's just like my health. I'm one of those people that typically doesn't get sick very often, and then I wound up getting sick twice in uh, one month. Is this the treasure? This is it? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I didn't notice that at first. Well, there we go. That's one treasure. What is this? The Seed of Greed. Ah, nuts. All right. So they've got the second one. So my goal in doing this area, I guess, is I was going to do all the treasures in one go. Until I, until I realized that not only does that not really space this area out, I mean, it, it works kind of well for some of the previous areas because of what I had left to get, and I could just kind of grab it and then go and do a cave, but I don't really have that luxury now because of how long these caves are. So, you know, I can't just grab treasure and then do an entire cave. But that's the cave we're going to be doing right there in, in a little bit. I need to actually go and switch out my Pikmin loadout. Make sure I have what I need here. This, I think all of the caves in this final section of the game are, um, they're all kind of uh, like compilations. You could say that. Let's go and put back some of the yellows. I wanna make sure I can get some red squeezed in here too. I don't know if I need this many of everything. Some people like to play this game where you don't take the full stock of Pikmin because you can get like the queen candy pot buds, but I know that I'm bad enough at this game that I don't think of it like that. So instead I will, uh... am I missing something? What is happening? The armored nut. When you're playing defense and you're trying to have a good time, you wanna have good armored nut. Okay, so I would like to do, what do I have a lot of that I don't need? Probably a lot of white, if I had to guess. Um, how many do I have with me? 25? Yeah, I don't need that many. Let's just do 10. And then I will do... I love having purples with me, and I have 
plenty, so. Let's do five purple. Wait, I, my squad only has 30 in it? Really? All right, well. In that case, let's fill it up with red. Can't go wrong with some good reds. Okay. And I wasted that nectar earlier on Pikmin that I'm probably not gonna use, which is very smart. The classic d Mike plays way, as you do. I did see those nectar eggs that were on the far side, but you know what, I don't really care that much. We'll find nectar in this dungeon, I'm sure. And if we don't, then we're doomed. All right, here we go. Today's dungeon, what could possibly go wrong? A particularly frightening crevasse. The data is horrifying. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty nasty, so it doesn't really matter what you do. All right. This, my friends, is the Cavern of Chaos, and we do want to enter to get all 17 treasures. We're only going to do half of it today, like I said, and then we'll do the other half of it next time. So let's get started. Hey, guys, who's ready to get a little chaotic? It's the Cavern of Chaos. This cave is kind of ridiculous. There's a lot going on here, obviously. Doing a quick little loop around, you'll see that we've got some Ridge Beetles. We've got some various blow hogs. What a bunch of blow hogs. And electrical traps. There's a lot of those in here for some reason. Game loves them. So we're going to dispatch those first while making sure that we don't have anything else besides yellows in our horde here. Let's go ahead and tear these down. It's just going to make it easier when your other Pikmin are carrying back the uh, treasure. You don't want to wind up with uh, your Pikmin getting roasted if you don't need them to, obviously. And we've got a watery blowhog right here and plenty of dirge beetles, which are very annoying. So I'm going to dispatch this blowhog like this. It should be okay for now. But we're going to pull them off. And as you saw, that watery blowhog actually got killed by the dirge beetle, so you can use that to your advantage. I believe there's only two treasures in this area. This is just one of those caves that's really annoying because there's not really a ton of room to operate. And uh, the dirge beetles and the blowhog combo. Oop. Okay, well, I guess that, uh, that one red Pikmin is just hanging out. Sure. Anyway, what I was trying to say is the dirigid beetles can work to your advantage here. For one example up top, destroys the electrical trap. The other one here, it can uh, use its bombs to blow up a blowhog, which is pretty nice. But getting rid of them specifically is the tougher of the two asks, unfortunately. All right, it's dead. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna stay away from all of that. I'm gonna try to lure them away. And then I'm gonna use my white Pikmin to, uh, to grab the treasures, hopefully covertly. Probably not gonna work very well because these guys are everywhere. All right, I'm gonna switch to Olimar. See if I can get this to work. I wanna try to kill the Dirigid Beetles without uh, launching my Pikmin on the edge and getting them killed. These things are so extra when, they, when they're when they here and they die. All right, let's get away from that. 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 All right, so far so good. We only have the one, one here. All right, if you can time it right, then you can get away from them before the bomb rock explodes and you have to worry about it. So, all right, good. Dirigid Beetles, Dirigid defeated, got them, yeah. All right, so unfortunately, and this is gonna take almost all of our white Pikmin, but we can use our red Pikmin here to uh, gather up the secondary treasure, which is over here. Show me a marbles. It only takes one. Oh, I guess I could have used all my whites, it's fine. But as far as I know, that's it. Should just be the two. Isn't this yummy, yummy, yummy? The enamel buster. I like the uh, texturing on that. And then, uh, yeah, let's uh, watch our our red Pikmin take forever with this. I bet, I bet if I had to guess there's a bomb rock here. No? Wow, game. So kind. Watches our Pikmin fruitlessly attack bomb rocks because they are big old dummies, but we love them. Ooh, the mirth, what does that mean? Mirth sphere? Is that it? All right. We're getting the heck out of here. No time to waste. 
onward. Okay, viewers. This is floor two out of five. If you recognize this place, this is actually the same, uh... This is the same location that we fought the man at arms. Or man at legs? I guess it's legs. Probably legs. That would make sense. Alright. So first things first, we're gonna kill the swooping snitch bug right here. We're gonna attempt- Oh, but it's throwing my Pikmin out of the, uh, out of the arena. Sorry, blue Pikmin. Just launched him into the, uh, ether there. There we go. My bad. There will be candy pop buds later, so... As dumb as that was, it's not a huge deal. Let's get this one going. Oops, excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and get him. I'm really bad at throwing Pikmin. So I hope that in the future, um, in Pikmin 4, they uh, kind of incorporate a lot of the stuff from like 3. Because Pikmin 3 was really nice and... Um, and what you were able to get. Alright, so obviously... Fiery Bull Blacks is gonna be a problem for anything besides reds. Anything that's not red will die to it instantly if it touches it. So I have a lot of reds actually. Purple away. And so I'm gonna do this first one with just reds and see how this goes, if this goes poorly, because I think there's a treasure in all three of these. If this goes poorly, then I'm obviously gonna switch it up. We'll see. No, oh, he's a lot. Yikes, stop it. Quit, you big dummy. Yeah, that didn't do very much, so whoop. gonna do it this way. I got a lot of uh, a lot of spray, so I'm not super worried about it. And they poop out of nectar when you get them. Yeah, they ate a lot, I ate way too many of my reds for me to be comfortable with, with that strategy, so unfortunately, we're gonna be doing it the old spray way. So I don't, uh, I don't foresee the other method being really formidable. And unfortunately, you still have to use your reds because, as you can see, even when petrified, they still are uh, considered to be on fire, which is annoying, but it is what it is. And we can, of course, spend time in future run-throughs of the Wistful Wild uh, farming uh, sprays and stuff. So I'm not super worried about it. I'm going to carry all this back. Did not give you enough. I'm sorry. There's another snitch bug, but I'm not worried about it. Yeah. So, you can get, um, all three of the Bull Blacks have to be killed in order to get the treasures. A little annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Whee! The Gem Star Wife. My life. That's a reference no one's made before. Okay. And then this should be the last one. I think it's just the three. It's kind of weird that they are in Bull Blacks. I'm assuming they ate them. I guess that's the lore they're going for. And I guess I could take some of my Pikmin that haven't been uh, flowered yet and... There you go, helping out! Jumping in! Volunteering. Because you're all salaried. The Essence of Despair. That looks like one of those poppet things. Does anybody remember those? Anybody remember poppets? You'd flip them inside out and then you could uh, put them on a surface and they would go pop and they would explode and pop into the air and hit you in the eye and blind you permanently for life. All right, the frosty bowel. I still don't know what that word means. That's it. All right, only lost six Pikmin so far. <laughs> oh boy, what a treat. Okay, floor three of five for today. And um, on the surface, this is probably <laughs> we're underground. On the surface, this is probably going to look like a recovery stage, but uh, it's not. There are Mamudas in the background that you saw, but there's also bomb rocks from the, or ceiling rocks, whatever. Um, and then there's creeping chrysanthemums. So I'm trying to get all those going first. Let's go ahead and switch to purples, wherever they are. Take your time. Take your time. All right. There we go. And there it is. I don't know if there's more than just one over here, but here's the one. Stop looking at me. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So there's this. There's this guy. Let him do his doofy animation first. All right. I guess not. Anyway, we'll attack him from behind. It is plenty to get him to go away. 
Oops. Go get him! Yeah, this is one of the goofiest enemies in the game. They're very clumsy. That's enough of that. Alright, let's see. Quickly looping around here. Yep, I knew it! I'm on to you, game. I'm on to you. I'm not going to put up with your shenaniganery. All right, there's a bunch of it over here, so let's go ahead and get the purples. Working on this wall. We'll bring the rest of the squad over in a moment. There's Mamudas back here, too. There's two creeping chrysanthemums. I'm not getting any vibes that there's a... There's an item back here, so you can probably ignore this part of the stage. You can always check your radar and use that to inform your intuition, which I have none of. All right. Okay, so moving forward here, we have another Mamuda. There's at least one Chrysanthemum. I guess I could have just stuck with the purples. I didn't really need to do this. That's okay. I jumped the gun a little bit. All right. Let's try not to grab any of the other kinds. All right. And well, actually, I'm going to kill the Mamuda first because it annoyingly will uh, bury my Pikmin and then I won't be able to use them. So get the Chrysanthemum out of the way. Is this one or is this just a dandelion or a daisy? Whatever that is. All right. Well, there's a trade right there. Whoop. Get up. Nope. You big old dimmy. Its eyes are on its nipples. Oh, there's in the whoa. What is happening right now? Oh my gosh. This is just pure chaos. I was not expecting them to throw a chrysanthemum from the sky. I didn't know the game did that. I thought I have enough to stun it. Here we go. All right. Well, that was dumb. Well, here's a treasure. No falling rock? Okay, what do I, anyway, let's let's clear this area out a little bit. This, this is kind of congested. What is this supposed to be? I don't even know. Looks like a green pepper, maybe? What do you think this is, Pikmin 3? Okay. If I had to guess, this is probably also going to be another falling from the rock. Falling from the rock. Falling from the ceiling rock. I'll have to deal with that in a moment. Wow, guys, take your time. No rush, you know, no, uh, no hurry or anything. I actually don't care about anything besides the actual treasure, so I'm only going to use the white Pikmin on the thing itself because I want to get this done yesterday. Under promise, over deliver. It's a good way to win, win over your corporate overlords. All right, and I think there is a, there is probably an underground buried treasure there. Is there any... Yeah, there's no treasure over there, like, as I decided earlier and then forgot immediately. There we go. We're gonna need our white pigment. Unfortunately, I did not coordinate this very well. All right. The infernal vegetable. Do you like peppers? Do you like peppers? I think peppers are good. I'm not really, um... My body isn't great at handling, like, super spicy things. Like, I'm not gonna eat, like, a habanero or something like that. I would consider that very spicy in my opinion, but, um, you know, I, I can't, I can't do the very spicy, like the day of, I can do the very spicy, like in the moment, I can eat as much spicy crap as I want, but the next day I'm going to have that ring sting, and I don't want that, so, all right, let's go ahead and get the white Pikmin to dig up this buried boy, and once again, as the rules entail, the moment that it is visible, everybody else can pitch in, what is this? A giant nut. I don't know. Kind of looks like a potato, maybe. Is that the theme of this dungeon? I'm not really getting any sort of theme with the treasures. It seems like we collected rings and marbles, a cake, and now a potato and a green pepper. Whatever floats your boat, game. Whatever you're trying to tell me, I don't. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I just got the president uh, completely knocked out. That's actually good because I would have lost a bunch of Pikmin if I would have done it the other way. So, oops. Sorry, bud. My bad. All right. So let's make sure this gets taken safely to the radar. There we go. Very gross looking. Child of the Earth.
I think it's funny that uh, in certain cases, a potato in a lot of languages is known as an apple of the earth. In French, it's the only one I know because of what I studied. It's the pomme de terre. All right, moving on. Okay, here we go. Two more floors in today's episode before we move on. Um, let's go ahead and take down this wall. What is this behind it? I don't like this angle at all. Looks like this is the... Oh, it's the exit. All right. Let's do a quick survey. Nope, stop following me. So we got a... Ooh, looks like those are Emperor Volblaxes. I can see those. Ooh, this is going to be nasty. Um, Maybe we get our reds here real quick to get rid of some of these fire spouts. I don't trust this. Yeah. I just want to... No, don't. I didn't say go in the water, you dummies. Do do your fire stuff, what you're good at. Like the things you love. Do what you love. And you'll never work a day in your life. All right. Unless you're picking it, then you'll work every day that I tell you to. All right. Stop it. You're being a bunch of babies. All right. So, I don't know what's a good way to do this fight. Um. I want to say that because it's Emperor Bulblaxes, like, I kind of want to hide the rest of my Pikmin so these guys don't come and, like, try to eat me. So we'll see if I can do that. Um, if I can get them to eat these bomb rocks, maybe? Oh, oh no, I had no idea! All right, come over here and eat this. Eat one of these bomb rocks, you dummy. Yes. Classic way to defeat a Bulblax, Emperor Bulblax. Oop. He tooted. His, he, he mouth farted. Well, that stuns him. It didn't do as much damage as I would have thought. There you go, eat that. Hold on. Looks like you can really only fight it with uh, white Pikmin. Or not white. Why did I say white? Nope. Get off there, get off there. Nope. Run. Everybody run. You come over here. Switch to Olimar real quick. Lure him here. Whoop. Come over here, big boy. Eat these bomb rocks. So you don't want to detonate the bomb rocks. Ew, he's all slobbery. Have him eat these bomb rocks. There you go. Once the bomb rock explodes in his dumb mouth, then you can obviously attack his face. That's the only weak spot. These Emperor Bulblaxes are interesting because they, um, they're a lot weaker than the ones from, or than the one, spoilers, from Pikmin 1. All right, there's a treasure. And we have another Bulblax here. Whoop. Two and one. What a fun, uh, fun mechanic. All right, come over here. We're going to rinse and repeat. Of course. Because Pikmin never does that. All right. Hey, look at his gross purple tongue. Blech. He's been eating too many great blow pops. All right. Remember those viewers? Blow pops. The candy with the gum inside. Those were fun. All right. So I don't want purples because they can't go in the water. Just the blues when I, uh, oh, where are you going, bud? Over here. I got two delicious bomb rocks for you. Yum, 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 yum. Come and lick up these delicious treats. No, you missed. Right here, there you go. There's your hitbox, you big dummy. I didn't do as much of damage as I would have liked it to, but it seems like when three bomb rocks are involved, gotta hurry up here and switch to president. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good. I mean, am I missing its face? Seems like it. Oops. Oh boy, that's not good. That's okay. We'll have to candy pop bud those guys later. Oof. Let's lure him this way. Have him eat up more of the. Uh... Man, that did a lot. I, didn't, I, didn't, I thought that I, I thought that I, that I was getting him right on the face. I was not. I missed. Come on. You walk so slowly. Guy, I'm trying to make an episode here. No. Come on. He's like, I'm hungry, but I'm not getting there in any sort of a hurry. No, no, no. You know what? You know what? Stop. What are you doing? I've never seen that animation before. Where are you going? I do not understand what you're doing, sir. All right, we got one more bomb rock over here. How about that? And then I can use whatever pick when I want to kill it. When he eats this, no, no, no! Stop it! 
You are being a little turd, doing all your animations that I don't need you to. Come over here. Come over here. No. You're getting so distracted. Oh, classic millennial, always getting distracted. Come on. What are you doing? Stop, stop your butt stomping and get over here. You're delaying the inevitable, sir. Let's go. Emperor my butt. Okay, come on. Delicious treat. Delicious treat in front of you. There's a crab claw if you want it. All right, come on. It's right here. Literally. Oh my gosh. You are 10 pounds of stupid in a five pound bag. Let's go. Is it because this is in the way and your, and your character model can't get past it? It might be. It's kind of my fault. All right. Well, that's annoying. Let's go and throw some Pikmin here and see if we can gather this really quickly. No. I mean, he's not getting any closer, so I'm not super worried about it. Come on, once you turn around, I'm going to blast you with the purple looking right in your face. I was trying to use the uh, Bomb Rocks method to be all slick, and then the game's like, nah. Woo! The Mysterious Remains. When I was a little kid, I found a crab claw in the uh, in the in the beach that we went to, and I put it in my suitcase and took it home with me. And my stuff smelled like crap, and I couldn't figure out why. Okay, I just want him to come over somewhere where I can like. Can you push the bomb rocks toward him? Can, can we do that? Maybe if we. Is he sleeping? What is it? What is going on? That's the dead one. Where's the live one? Uh. Wait, what? Did it despawn? Did it go underground? Oh no, he's... You big dummy. We're not done fighting you yet. Come on. I don't have time for this. Let's go. I'm going to push this towards you and you eat it. There we go. There we go. You eat this one. All right, perfect. All right, one more. I'm just going to do it this way because I hate you and everything you stand for. I didn't know you could push bomb rocks. I would have done this a lot sooner. Sorry, viewers, for not knowing how the game works. I'm actually concerned that I'm not going to have enough blue Pikmin to get the crap out of the water. Oh, he's still a little bit alive. Revenge! No, 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 no. Stop dying. Okay, is there a treasure inside you? Are you kidding me? What a heckin' butthole. All right, well, there's probably something back here I can see it. Yeah, that would have been really bad if you don't have the right loadout of Pikmin and then you wind up not being able to carry stuff. That would be really annoying. All right. Well, we're not doing great on the not dying Pikmin front, but thankfully there will be recovery floors, of course, eventually. All right, let's take this down today. I got somewhere to be. Actually, I'm almost done with this episode, so it's not really a huge deal. All right. Let's go ahead and take down this wall. We'll subdivide real quickly and we'll have the, um, we do white Pikmin to be the, that looks like garbage. White Pikmin will be carrying the treasures, of course. Everybody else can, uh, I'm gonna be careful here and see where these guys are going. Can you please not take it through the fire? Okay, I thought the game was gonna be stupid and Oh, there we go. Candy pop, bud. All right, what did I lose the most of? Um, lost a lot of blues. So we'll do blue. Maybe there's only two. Uh, the milk tub? It's like a creamer thing. Only two treasures on this floor, which is nice. We can toss a blue in there and get more. That's very nice. Replenish our store of Pikmin. And I still love the pluck -a phone It's probably one of my favorite items just to be able to get stuff done in a jiffy. All right, and then we can just get the heck out of here. Nice. That was a little eventful, but you know, we handled it just fine. All right. This is the final floor of today and the halfway point of today's episode. And this is actually, I believe, a recovery floor. So there we go. There is the Queen Candy Pop. But there's a violet one, too. What do we have? We have a lot of blues, 
yellow. I mean, they're all pretty even. We're gonna go ahead and convert. Um, let's go ahead and convert some reds, and then we'll come back and do more red in the in the other one. Go throw the white there. I don't want to convert a white into a violet. That would be dumb. Or purple. Would love to have some frame rate though. There we go. Okay. You'll never see me turn it down purples. Although, as you play the game, it, it's it's apparent that you know purples become less of a commodity, which is a little bit of a bummer when you know, when you have to get a hundred of them, then it makes it a, them a little bit less valuable. But that's okay. Go ahead and get some reds here to round out the team. Top off the uh, the old roster. If you come in without a hundred, obviously, then you can uh, gather Pikmin here if you're more skilled at the game than I am, which is probably very easy to do. All right, so now we have 26. Yeah, well, let's get some more whites just in case. We'll use the reds we just grabbed. Grab some white Pikmin just in case. All right. Get this popping. All right, everybody is here. And let's see if there's any like eggs or something we can use to flower these boys. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Well, glint beetle. I like the ones that fart. The those ones are fun. Oh, there we go. He's farting out potions. All right, he's not dead yet. Get him. Get him. Take his treasures. It's kind of tough to get him to stop moving enough. There we go. How many when you fart out before you die? That's pretty good, actually. Take that. It's a lot. Get some spicy spray. Finally calling it the right thing for once. I cringe a little bit every time I go back and watch some of my old episodes, and I'm like, yeah, we need uh, this nice purple spicy spray. I'm like, nope, that's not what that is. And I'm also not going to be the type of person to make content and like put a really crappy subtitle over it. Be like, oh, that's not what that's called and correct myself in post. No, I'm not going to do that. I live with my mistakes, viewers. All right. Was it just the one? Ooh, egg from the ceiling. That's cool. Another one, perhaps? Maybe? Anyone? 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 No. Okay. I mean, that was pretty decent. We'll take that. All right. I can grab this last little piece of nectar. And you can leave the cave at this point if you want, obviously. But we're not going to do that. Instead, on the next episode, we're going to dig deeper and see if we can finish off this crazy cavern of chaos. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you next time. Bye.